As I said, folks, really a great show today. We get a walking tour of the Hill with Mr. Roland DiGregorio. Now, in St. Louis, the Hill is an outstanding community, and it has a lot of history to it. We've done a history on the Hill before, but we've never done uh, a little walking tour with Roland DiGregorio, and that's what he's famous for down here. He's a retired mailman, and he's a, just a, a, a beautiful guy. And he's going to talk a little bit about the the immigrant statue, and he has a tour of of about uh, oh 18 or, or uh, 20 uh, nurses that are going to nursing school. So without further ado, Roland, veni qua, per favore, with your group, with the group. Okay, <laughs> this is the way he usually starts out down here. This very beautiful man, he goes into church, he talks a little bit about the history of the, of St. Ambrose Church and how it evolved over throughout the years in the Italian community. <laughs> Roland Di Gregoria, how you doing today? Fine, fine. Va bene, Mr. Huh? Valentine, he also you Oh, Jason, you do the Priato, because like do the he, he, beautiful he, <laughs> theme in here. You're going to give the uh, Giro della Montagna. Yeah, Giro della Montagna, really nurses from Deaconess Hospital. Tell everybody out there. Oh, listen, you ought to see what I got here today. I got a bunch of nice-looking young girls, nurses from, from Deaconess Hospital, who will take care of you with tender, loving care. So if you ever go to Deaconess Hospital, don't worry. Look at what they got there. Ain't they beautiful? And they're very kind and generous. So I'm going to try and tell them about the hill today. The, the neighbor of Deaconess Hospital is, Saint, is, a, is a hill here, and we need Deaconess Hospital for the hill. Okay, so, Roland, the show is yours, so take it away. Bro. All right, thank you. Well, girls, our first stop is the statue of the immigrants. Come over to the statue, and now this is the statue it's supposed to represent our Italian parents landing on Ellis Island. Rudy, Rudy Marie, Rudy was the, uh, the, the, the creator of this statue. We sent him to Italy. Well, first of all, he designed his statue in plaster and then sent it to Italy and with bronze and brought here. He went with the statue to Italy and came back with it. And this is supposed to represent our grandparents, our parents, landing on Ellis Island in New York. I always talk, well, well Rudy, he, uh, his parents come from Cujon, Italy. So if you look at the name tag up there, it says from Cujon. Now, you know why they call most Italians Tony? Huh? But they look at that tag and it says T-O-2, New York, N-Y. So they thought it was a name tag, like Tony. So that's why they call all the Italians Tony. Like you got name tags on there, it says, uh, doesn't say Tony, does it? No, no. Okay, so that's supposed to represent, we, uh, we raised the money on the second hill day for this one. See, to pay for that. And we got a new, we just put a new uh, foundation to it. And so we're very proud of the Italian heritage, There's people coming from both North and South Italy. Okay, now we're going to move on. These are shotgun homes built in, uh, with World's Fair lumber. They started out with, uh, on stilts, and then later on there's a kitchen in the basement there. Well, later when the streets were made, they built the basement and put the kitchen downstairs and uh, uh, released another roof or bedroom. This started out as a one-story home, a shotgun, and look at it, it went up two stories. See the, the ingenuity of the people, what they did with these shotgun homes? you got to go inside there. He's got walls, and it's just beautiful, just beautiful in there, really. This building was built in 1917. This was the old movie house. There's a there's a opera house in Florence, Italy. They named it after this place. See, it's called La Scala. No, I, that's wrong. I think we named it after they. La Scala in Italy, in Florence, is the ultimate of the opera singer star. Like if you go to Carnegie Hall to become a musician in the United States, well, in Italy, if you sang at La Scala, you hit the big time. If you look up there, you see the balconies of the old movie house and the, the ceiling. It's still got the tin of the, uh -huh, the tin of the old roof. That was now Mr. Spielberg has bought this and he used it for a warehouse. See, but this was my mother used to come over and see Rudolph Valentino for a nickel. A nickel. They would come and see these movies. Silent movies. They would come and see the movies for a nickel. Now it costs you about five dollars to go to a movie. Watch yourself. Hey, a lot more than that. Yeah, but. Uh, now we're walking towards Di Gregorio grocery store. When my father brought my cousins over, they, 
started out, Mr. Di Gregorio Vinica, be, be, be cut it down, Vinica. This is my first cousin, Mr. Sam Di Gregorio. <laughs> this is my goodbody. This is my goodbody. He, his father and my father were brothers. See, that's how we're related. And he started off with just a little grocery store, and he started out making tzitzah, and everybody loved his formula of tzitzah, and now he makes all the tzitzah for all the pot house companies plus other people. And they just start out with just a little grocery store. Yeah. Okay, Sam. Thank you. I'll be in for my 10% 10, 10 commission, whatever they buy. Okay. <laughs> uh, this street right here is Marconi Street, but it used to be named Cooper Street. And if you look up here on this telephone pole, you see that last, uh, the bottom rung there is the only remaining telegraph line in the city and it only runs from here to uh, for about a block i believe telegraph. the telegraph and, and marconi is named after the italian who invented the radio that's right that's right <laughs> it wasn't russia it wasn't I, I always wanted to say that i want to i want to tell people the story before somebody realizes that those are uh, inoperative lines. There's a lot of history for that. Uh, up there. Two wires. See those two wires, those two wires right there. They're all coming apart before the city comes out here, and maybe they might do that after I uh, after we.